You want to know how I feel about that football game? Yeah, those were my instant, instant reactions to that football game. Obviously, I'm a little bit cooled down now, but that was really my emotion in the time. And, you know, my, you know, I mean, the, 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 my, the amount of times that, that I just, that just dumb things like that happen throughout a football game with, with the Packers. It's just like, like, all you had to do, all Ty Montgomery had to do in that situation, they're down two, right? They need a field goal to win. They have two minutes to go. They have a timeout in their back pocket. And Ty Montgomery, all you got to do is take a knee. You get it at the 25 or 20-yard line. I don't remember what it was and what it is in uh, the NFL, but you take a knee. You get the football at the 25-yard line. You're going to have a chance with Aaron Rodgers, the best guy in the NFL in that situation. And instead, what does he do? He tries to play hero ball. He tries to take it out and get a big return, and instead he gets stuffed and fumbles the football to boot and gives it to the Rams, which essentially ends the football game. So, yeah, that was um, that was really disappointing to watch. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it, it sucks. It really does. I mean, the Packers had the Rams... I know they had the Rams today. They played better than them throughout the football game. There was a period from late second quarter to mid to late third quarter where the Rams outplayed them, but the rest of the time the Packers were the better team in this football game, and that's really disappointing to have to hear because I mean the Packers had this football game, and they, I mean they, if it wasn't for Ty Montgomery, and of course the difference in the football game was Mike McCarthy for some reason, trying to run the football up the middle at the one-yard line late in the second quarter with Aaron Jones against a full-box defense from the from the L.A. Rams. And what, what happened predictably? Well, they got penetration like you'd expect, and they got tackled for a loss, and it was a safety. I mean, running that play when you know that they have two of the best interior defenders in the NFL in Adamican Sue and Aaron Donald, I, I don't I don't understand it. I really don't. That was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. And I have said a lot of things are the dumbest thing I've ever seen, but that one is really close. And Ty Montgomery taking that kick out was also pretty close. Um yeah, so those were the differences in the football game. But other than that, um I mean uh the defense played really, really well. That's a good sign. Jair Alexander had the game of his life. I mean, he was fantastic in this game. Packers really got a steal with him in the draft. I'm glad that they picked him. Uh, uh, but, yeah, the defense was great. They held the Rams on numerous occasions. Uh, and the offense, it started really, it started pretty good. And then it slowed down. And then it got uh, back on its feet in the fourth quarter there. Uh, and Aaron Rodgers finding uh, MVS on that uh, touchdown to take the lead was probably the highlight of the game for the Packers' offense. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it was a pretty good football game all around from the offense and the defense. It was just the critical plays and the critical moments that killed the Packers. And, I mean, it, it speaks to the to the coaching. Like, I mean, the the coaching has such an impact on the game. And when... The two biggest plays of the game are plays that are easily avoidable if you're just smarter. Like, I mean, it, it, it doesn't have anything to do with the Rams, like, like just playing it well or anything. It was just the Packers shooting themselves in the foot once again. I mean, I've, I feel like I've talked about them shooting themselves in the foot every single football game this year. Like, every single game, I feel like I'm, like, posting reactions and I say the phrase, the Packers shot themselves in the foot. They did it again today, and they can't continue to do that. I mean, the Rams play, did not have their best game by far, but they did play well enough to beat the Packers today, and the Packers made a couple of critical mistakes in critical moments which allowed the Rams to gain momentum to be able to put the, put the game away. And that's, that was really what it all boiled down to. It was those critical plays and the critical moments. If you're just smarter in those situations, you probably win the football game. So Packers are 3-3-1 and now after the 29-27 loss to the Rams. Uh, they have New England next weekend at Foxborough. That is going to be an insanely tough game. I'd argue that it's going to be tougher than this one. Um, but yeah, the Packers could easily be under 500 uh, going against Miami the following week. So uh, yeah, that's um, not ideal from the Packers. Uh, they're putting themselves in a really tough situation right now. They're gonna like I'm not gonna say that next weekend is a must-win game because it's not. But I mean, losing it is gonna put you in a pretty tough position and. 
Uh, you're going to have Miami and Seattle right after it, of course. But Seattle's been playing better football, and Miami is not as bad as a lot of people think they are. So, you're really, like I said, you're putting yourself in a really tough situation. Then after Seattle, you got to go to Minnesota to play the Vikings on the road. So, you can, if you can imagine, I mean, the Packers, I mean, this is a game that the Packers probably really wanted. And even though I didn't think they were going to win coming in, the way that they played showed that they could have won the game, and the fact that they didn't is really disappointing in the grand scheme of things. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I liked what I saw for the most part from the team. Uh, I talked about Jair, obviously. Uh, the rookies were really good. The rookie receivers were really good. Uh, Devontae Adams was really good. Rodgers played a pretty good game for the most part. Uh, Aaron Jones and the limited amount of touches that he got, once again, was really good. Um, and the defense uh, was, for the most part, pretty good. They got a lot of pressure on Goffer, especially early on, and they did enough to get the Packers to in a position to win the football game. So, um, But you just got to be able to move on from this one. Uh, the Packers have a very tough opponent coming up next week, and uh, they're going to have to go out there and uh, just try and focus on beating New England. I mean, you can't dwell on a loss like this, as tough as it is, as much as you wanted it you got to move on, and that's what the Packers are going to have to do uh, going into one of the toughest environments to play in next week against the Patriots at Foxborough. So, anyways, guys, though, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, go Pack Go. See you guys next week.